I have a yummy salad for us today and it is filled with things that are good for us and taste great and it's beautiful too. So perfect for the winter season when we need a pop of color and brightness. It's a Brussels sprout salad with a honey Dijon dressing. How good does that sound? So we're gonna start with about four to six cups of Brussels sprouts that I have just put in the food processor and coarsely chopped. And a uh, couple of things about that. You only want to fill up the food processor about a third or a quarter full because you're going to use the pulse. And when you do that, you're going to get lovely little chopped or shreds of, of Brussels sprouts without getting a lot of whoosh. Because you know, Brussels sprouts are all about the water. So um, it's going to take you about four, four different batches into the food processor to get this much Brussels sprouts. And here's another tip. The next thing we're gonna put in is a couple cups of carrots. And these carrots, I could shred, or I could put them in the food processor. So I want you to do that so there's a time saver. And they don't have to be perfect. This is a rustic salad. So just put those in the food processor. Well, I just chopped them up coarsely and then pulse, pulse, pulse. Um, to get them nice and chopped. And it took me about two different times to do the food processor for the carrots. So that's my, the base of my salad. Now let's talk about what else is going in there. So I've got some celery, some crunchy, crunchy celery that's going in. So I'm gonna put that in. Uh, this is about a half a cup. Next up, I have some green onions. Oops, I don't wanna lose those. Next up, I have some green onions, and you notice that I used mostly the green parts, the tops of the green onions. I'll use the white parts in something that I'm cooking, but I want this to have a flavor of green onions, not a flavor of green onions. So there's about a half a cup, a generous half cup of green onions right there. Okay, and now I'm gonna put in some dried fruit. You can put in anything you like. I like raisins in this, I like apricots or dates, but since it's the holiday season right now, I decided to use the dried cranberries. And dried cranberries are great if you buy the ones with less sugar. So look for those, you can find them in the regular grocery store. And this is about a cup of dried cranberries. And they're going right in here, separate them up. A little bit these are very fresh because they're soft and little sticky so there's my dried cranberries now I've got a couple other ingredients I want to talk to you about and that is oop, cranberry um, that is my pomegranate first okay so this is what the pomegranate looks like in the store you're gonna see them everywhere because they are a winter fruit and I'm gonna use about a cup of pomegranate seeds or aerials on my salad but people get really intimidated by the pomegranate but I don't want you to do that so when you have a pomegranate the easiest way to deal with it is and there's lots of different ways this is the way I like the easiest way to deal with it is to and we move these over so you can see this just put your knife into the side of the pomegranate and I like to really get down in there so that I can just take out my knife and then just open up the pomegranate. So let's see if I can get my thumbs in there. There we go. Because the next thing I'm gonna do with it, ah, look at that, isn't that just gorgeous? The next thing I'm gonna do with it is, uh, you can see I have a bowl of water right here. And what I did was, the one I did for this cup of seeds, um, I just put the pomegranate pieces underneath the water and then all I do is just run my fingers through the seeds. And what happens, as you can see in this bowl, is that the pomegranate seeds all fall to the bottom and all the white fibrous um, stuff that we don't, eat, we don't eat goes to the top. When I get finished doing this, I'm just gonna skim off the top and I'll have all those yummy pomegranate seeds on the bottom. Don't buy the pomegranate seeds in the grocery store that are just by themselves. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive and they don't keep very long. If you buy a whole pomegranate, you can keep it for two or three weeks in your fridge if it's whole. 
And um, when, you, when you cut it in half, there's not only a way to use those seeds, but we're also gonna do something fun with our salad, and that is we are gonna use this beautiful pomegranate as decoration for our salad platter. So that's our pomegranate. A couple other ingredients I wanna talk about. And then next one I wanna talk about is the nuts. Now, walnuts, almonds, you can use Brazil nuts. You could use any of those nuts in here. But since we like to use local and pum uh, pumpkin, pecan season has just gotten here in uh, Georgia. It just um, left us in November and I got some local pecans from Monroe, Georgia. A friend of mine was selling them for her college sorority and I loaded up. So these are local pecans. I toasted them in the oven for about eight minutes at a preheated 400 degree oven. They came out perfectly. So this is about a half cup. And then I've got a little bit of chopped parsley here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my salad out. Maybe I'll take this off. So I'm just gonna to toss it up here. Let me move this over so y'all can see really well. Now, if you'd like to, and you're gonna serve this right away, you can put the salad dressing on it. But what I'm gonna do, because I like it to be a little drier, is I'm going to um, just drizzle it with some dressing and serve it up with the rest of the jar of the dressing. Ooh, look, I didn't get one carrot. Maybe that's the chef's bonus later. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my salad out. Doesn't that look pretty? With the green and the orange of the carrot and that red of the cranberries. All righty. And you can see this makes a generous portion of the salad. The nice thing is, is it does keep really well. You can keep it for two or three days if you don't dress it very heavily. And it also goes great, of course, in a pita pocket, right? All right, now I'm gonna snuggle this in so it's so pretty. We'll get it all arranged. Here we go. And then I'm gonna put my pumpkin, pumpkin seeds, my pomegranate, Aerials or pomegranate seeds all over the top of this. And, oh, they're going everywhere. That's good. All right. And then I'll use the last of them right back here where I don't have any. Okay, next up, I've got my chopped pecans that we toasted a little bit earlier. And then finally, my parsley. So you can see that the most time, um, time intensive part of the salad is just the chopping. It comes together so beautifully quickly. And you can really use all your creativity um, in the, with this salad. So let's make the salad dressing real quickly now. So what I have is about a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And you know, I do like the California Olive Ranch olive oil. Um, this one is from Argentina, Chile, Portugal, and California, but I like it most of all because it gives you a harvest date. So our olive oil is best a year and a half after, up to a year and a half after its harvest. And I've got my honey right here and a couple tablespoons of honey. I'm going to grab a spoon to get it out. There we go. Oh, honey mustard dressing is one of my favorites. And I've got some apple cider vinegar, about four or five tablespoons. I like it very tart, so you may not like it quite that tart. You may want to use the four instead of the five tablespoons. And then I've got Dijon mustard. I've got a, I've got a generous tablespoon because again, I really like Dijon mustard. I'm gonna use my pepper grinder to put some pepper in here. 
And last but not least, I'm gonna put a little sprinkle of salt in and I'm gonna get ready to drizzle my salad. So that's probably maybe a quarter, third a teaspoon, not much, because that um, mustard is gonna give it that pop. All right, shaking that baby up, and then we'll drizzle on the sa drizzle it on the salad and serve it. So I am so excited! I cannot wait to have this salad because it looks so incredibly good. And I hope you enjoy this recipe. I hope you make it, and let Shana and I know if you do. Until the next recipe, here's the Brussels sprouts holiday salad full of things that are good for us.